This is the single most asked question we get in person, on Instagram or on YouTube. What is the difference between all of the vitamin A molecules, or retinoids as they are chemically known? Now they all sound quite similar, but there are some distinct differences in strength and action. A bit like at the coffee shop, you have your lattes and cappuccinos for those who like a milky, gentler caffeine hit, and those who have worked their way through the coffee menu and now only an espresso shot will do. In a similar way, there's a vitamin A to suit virtually everyone, and that's what we're going to cover in this video. Firstly, a recap on why does vitamin A work in the first place? Vitamin A is world-renowned as the gold standard in anti-aging skincare. The benefits of vitamin A in topical skincare are broadly fourfold. Firstly, vitamin A increases collagen synthesis and prevents its breakdown for plumper, more youthful looking skin. Vitamin A increases proliferation, which is another word for cell turnover, for a smoother skin surface. Vitamin A also decreases melanin production for a more even skin tone. And finally, vitamin A reduces sebum production to minimize the formation of blemishes. So you can understand why it is one of the pillars of the Medicaid CSA philosophy. Vitamin C followed by sunscreen by day and vitamin A by night. Vitamin A, or retinoids, is the family term for all vitamin A molecules and their derivative forms. So this includes retinol and retinal, plus derivatives like retinol palmitate, hydroxypinacolone retinoate or granactive retinoid and you may have heard of some of these before. But this is where it gets confusing because there are lots of different vitamin A's to choose from. As a science-based brand, we choose to only formulate with those vitamin A's that have published scientific data that prove they truly work. So at Medicaid, we have selected the three forms of vitamin A which we consider to be the absolute best. Retinol, retinaldehyde and retinyl retinoate. Many brands use other vitamin A's like esters, but as you can see, they have very little evidence to show they work. And that's why they don't make it into our formulas. All Medicaid vitamin A products, irrespective of which molecule they use, are time release, vegan friendly, super stable, and manufactured sustainably in small batches in our ISO certified manufacturing facility here just outside London. In order to have an effect in the skin, vitamin A must be converted to its biologically active form called retinoic acid, or tretinoin as some people call it, and tret for short. Each vitamin A has to convert along what's called the vitamin A pathway on its way to becoming retinoic acid. Weaker forms require more steps to convert, losing power along the way. Stronger forms have fewer conversion steps, so obviously the fewer the steps, the better. The pathway looks like this. In very basic terms, the further the vitamin A is away from retinoic acid, the more conversions it requires and therefore the progressively weaker it is. So if retinoic acid is the biologically active form of vitamin A and therefore the strongest, why isn't everyone just using that? Well, retinoic acid is a prescription strength form of vitamin A and it's used in brand names like Retin-A that you may have heard of before. These products are very, very irritating and they can only be used for a few months before most users fall out of using it in their regime as it's just so intolerable. Skin can become red, inflamed, itchy and flakes away, so it's not a good look. And that's why we've created some alternatives to this, with results similar to prescription strength but without the downsides. So let's get into the types of vitamin A used at Medicaid. Firstly, retinol. So this is the one you've probably heard of and has decades of studies supporting its effects. Historically, it has a stigma of causing irritation, so some people are just afraid to use it. But it doesn't need to be that way. At Medicaid, we call retinol the classic vitamin A, as it's the one that's been used most frequently over the years across hundreds of brands. Our intelligent retinol innovations have lots more to them than simply putting retinol in a bottle. As Medicaid are the experts in vitamin A, our formulas are time release to reduce irritation and HPLC tested to guarantee stability and effectiveness over time. Medicaid intelligent retinols contain a retinol booster called Climbazol, which dials up the power to mimic the effects of a higher strength, but without any further sensitivity. We also recommend a process of phase-in with almost all of our vitamin A's, so your skin is never overwhelmed and any sensitivity is minimized. Medicaid retinols are truly intelligent by name and intelligent by nature. Retinol is only to be used at night because it becomes inactive in sunlight, so there's no point in putting it on during the day. We have a handy ladder so you know where to start and when to move up strength if you want to. So what about retinaldehyde, known as retinal for short? We call this one the everyone vitamin A. Not to be confused with retinol, retinal and retinol are two completely different molecules, divided by only one vowel in their spelling. 
but the differences are quite stark. Retinal is the closest form of vitamin A to retinoic acid, the active form that makes visible changes to the skin. It's notoriously difficult to stabilise, but we have overcome this problem through a process of patented crystal encapsulation to ensure there's no loss of power while you're using it. Our crystal retinal range, starring this encapsulated retinal ingredient, is 11 times faster acting than traditional retinol, but with no further irritation potential. So if you're looking for fast, visible results, this is the one for you. It is the strongest form of vitamin A available without prescription, but with none of the downsides. So it's great for anyone who doesn't get on well with Retin-A or prescription-only formulas. Retinaldehyde has a secondary benefit of being antimicrobial, so it's especially great for those with oilier, blemish-prone complexions. Crystal Retinal should only be used at night, similarly to Retinol, because it becomes inactive in sunlight. At Medicaid, we have four strengths to choose from in Crystal Retinal, which is why we call it the Everyone Vitamin A. If Vitamin A is what you're looking for, everyone has a place to jump in. We have a ladder of strengths, so you can progressively upgrade your results over time. Finally, we have our first class vitamin A called Retinyl Retinoate, the ultimate vitamin A. Another incredible innovation at Medicaid and exclusive to us, the encapsulated form of Retinyl Retinoate is only available within the R-Retinoate range. This is the creme de la creme of vitamin A, eight times stronger than traditional retinol with almost zero irritation, so it can be used on even sensitive skins. Our R-Retinoate line are all-in-one options for those with no time to faff with their skincare and just want results coupled with beautiful, upscale experience. Uniquely, our R-Retinoate day and night formulations can be used twice a day, hence accelerating your results potential. And this is a massive innovation in the market and you won't find this in other brands. Our Retinoate Intense has the exclusive combination of Retinyl Retinoate as well as Retinaldehyde. The effects of both of these incredible forms of vitamin A make it our most powerful anti-aging product in our entire range. We've added drone-targeted peptides, ceramides and hyaluronic acid to deliver a beautiful night cream experience and your high-strength vitamin A all in one product. So even though it's a little bit more expensive, you don't have to invest in a separate night cream as well. It's simply the best vitamin A we've ever made. Hopefully that's helped to clarify what can sometimes be a really confusing topic. And you can jump on our website for even more information about the differences between our vitamin A's.